Do you know why there's still no bridge between Sicily and mainland Italy? Sicily is home to around 5 million people, and it's separated from the rest of the country by only 3 kilometers across the Strait of Messina. Not that much, compared to other projects that have already been built. But this place is far more complicated, and it's not just about geography, but also about the Mafia. The region is indeed extremely seismically active. Right here lies the boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, which constantly push against each other, causing frequent earthquakes. That's why in 1908, this area experienced one of the most devastating earthquakes in European history, with a magnitude of 7.2 that took around 80,000 lives. Moreover, this narrow place is where two seas meet, causing winds to reach up to 100 kilometers per hour. Despite all this, building a bridge is still possible. There's even a completed design that takes into account all the geographic challenges. The span would be more than three kilometers, making it the longest suspension bridge in the world, and also the most expensive. It's estimated to cost around 15 billion euros. Opponents argue that these billions would be better spent on social programs, while supporters believe that the bridge would unite the country and give a huge boost to the southern economy. As a result, the project has been launched and frozen many times, each time with massive sums of money allocated. And this, perhaps, is where the real reason lies. Corruption within the government and the influence of the Sicilian Mafia, which controls much of the construction industry and has an interest in keeping the project unfinished. Because as long as it's in progress, the money keeps flowing.